Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of RST1 But Beautiful. In the last three episodes I did Forest Frontiers, Dynamite Dunes and Leafy Lake, and now it's time to work on a scenario that's a lot larger, and which already has several rides uh, in the beginning, Diamond Heights. So you probably all know this uh, scenario, um, these two coasters especially are pretty iconic. You have Agoraphobia and Claustrophobia, now, agoraphobia, I believe, has something to do with the fear of uh, uh, open spaces. Well, it's not just fear of open spaces, but it's part of it. And that coaster is uh, also pretty wide open like this. And there's claustrophobia. Uh, that's a fear of uh, narrow spaces. And it actually goes through all these uh, tunnels. So I think it's quite funny how these coasters have a certain uh, theme to them. Now, there's also this uh, insane uh, Wild Mouths coaster called Doppelganger. You can just see how uh, crazy fast it travels through these uh, turns. Uh, it's actually a Mobius uh, um, dueling coaster, so these trains actually, um, yeah, this train ends up on the other track uh, in the in the next uh, lap. So yeah, that's uh, this uh, scenario is uh, quite a fun introduction into dueling rides for players. Now um, there's also this uh, final coaster which is Arachnophobia. Uh, fear of spiders, I think, and yeah, it's quite an insane uh, junior coaster or steel mini coaster, as it was called in Roller Coaster Tycoon One. Now, other than that, there's also already a small log flume, and there's a, a miniature train ride. Now, the available land in this scenario is quite large. Um, yeah, what what I want to do is basically um, redo all these coasters that sit here in the park. Um, for these two coasters, uh, I will keep the first part of the layout uh, sort of the same, but uh, yeah, so there will be this lift hill into a loop, but after that they will be quite uh, different. I want these coasters to duel a little bit more, so right now um, after, the, after passing through the loops here, they basically uh, both go their own ways, and yeah, I want them to stick together for more of the ride, have more uh, uh, interaction with each other before finally uh, near the at some point they uh, go their own ways. Um, for this uh, wild mouse coaster, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it to be honest. Uh, I think it uh, it's a little bit too insane. Um, so what I want to do is uh, uh, replace this with a different ride. Uh, I'm thinking of having a, a dueling uh, mine train coaster here. Or mine train coaster, which has uh, which does two laps. So basically, it will also be a Mobius ride, uh, probably also same colors, but a different kind of uh, a different ride type. I think it uh, will fit in this area here uh, pretty well. And finally, for this coaster here, the Arachnophobia, I don't think it's really fitting as a junior coaster, especially with this layout. So uh, I will uh, uh, turn it into something else. And what I'm thinking of is actually uh, something like a Gerslauer bobsled. Kind of like a, a modern um, yeah, type of ride made by Gerslauer, hence the name. Uh, it's kind of like a, like a coaster with uh, single car uh, trains, which, uh, yeah, which has had more traditional drops, but also has sections with, uh, with tight uh, turns. So it's not a bobsled coaster, but they did name it a bobsled uh, for some reason. Well, yeah, I'm uh, quite looking forward to uh, to working on that, but first I think uh, I need want to tackle this uh, this miniature train. Um, yeah, the layout of this train ride. Uh, to be fair, I think it's not really a good layout for a train ride. Well, not very realistic, at least. Uh, it has these uh, large uh, drops uh, <laughs> that immediately go into tight turns. Uh, here, the, here it's very low uh, above the land, above the water. Then there's these large climbs. Uh, yeah, the train is almost like a roller coaster on its own. You can see it's struggling to get up the hill here. So uh, basically I want to redo this, uh, um, this layout of this train ride. It will uh, sort of follow the same route, but uh, I want it to be a little bit more level. So I'll get rid of uh, the hills and I'll... Uh, try to keep it all uh, approximately at the same height, so probably at 9 meters. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with that, and while doing that, I'll probably uh, already have to demolish uh, some parts of uh, this coaster. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. I think that's a good first thing to uh, start with.
Alright, I've now done the railroad and I've made two stations for the ride. You can see one over here, which is uh, kind of like in a in a castle or a mansion uh, kind of theme. I think it looks uh, looks pretty cool here. Um, and over here I made one that's more in the, the style that uh, more of the park's going to be, which is uh, kind of like a mine uh, theme. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I, I'm uh, pretty happy with how the station looks. Um, for this station over here, um, yeah, I decided to do this one last because I want to integrate it with the entrance of the park. Now, there's not much space here, but uh, yeah, for the entrance, uh, I'm just going to make a building which the guests uh, pass through here. Um, probably going to make uh, two ticket counters over here. And yeah, this, uh, this time on, I'm uh, probably not going to make a gate with security guards. But uh, rather, I'll ju you can just imagine that it all happens in the building that's going to be here. But yeah, the entrance building will also have the station for the uh, railroad. Now, I also removed uh, all the other rides here. And I did that because, well, basically I was building paths over here to these uh, stations. And I had to weave these paths uh, over, and, uh, over and under the rides that were already here. But since uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, yeah, rebuild these rides anyway. Um, it doesn't make really make much sense for the paths to uh, to avoid the rides. So uh, yeah, uh, deleting the rides just makes the job a lot easier for me. But don't worry, these rides will all find their way back into the park again. Anyway, um, let's start on the entrance of the park. All right, here we now have the finished entrance of the park. Now, I, I said I didn't want to have any, uh, I was not going to make any ticket checkers, but in the end I did uh, place a few here. So these are actually entertainers, but with the uh, peep editor plugin, I actually gave them a guest skin. So now it looks like these uh, guests here, or uh, well, these, uh, these uh, <laughs> employees here in the, with the guest skin uh, are actually uh, checking the guest tickets. I think that's uh, that's a really fun quirk of this uh, beep editor uh, plugin. Um, yeah, I think it definitely looks cool to have uh, uh, yeah, staff members who look like actual guests uh, checking the tickets. So I yeah, definitely recommend uh, downloading this uh, plugin. Okay, um, as for the entrance, well, um, pretty standard. So here's where the guests actually enter. Uh, I really like placing a path in the middle of one of these uh, mine structures. I think that looks uh, pretty good. It's always a fun trick to use. Here, a little bit of a uh, um, minecart track. Uh, here are some uh, ticket counters for the guests to buy their tickets. And after that, they can move on to this uh, building where the tickets get checked. And uh, I wanted to have some, uh, yeah, so something interesting here for the, uh, for the entrance. So I made some uh, buildings here with a uh, uh, railroad in between. And you can see this uh, minecart is going back and forth uh, yeah, between these two. Uh, uh, sides of the building <laughs> yeah just uh, just a fun little quirk it doesn't really do anything but it does make it look a little bit more interesting okay um yeah with this done uh now um with this done the trains all uh, also have a station building so that's nice so that's at least one uh, ride already completed now um we do still have some of the original path here 
Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is rip out this uh, original path and I'm going to replace it with a double wide path probably a crazy tile uh, paving as well so this uh, uh, this uh, path format and uh, yeah just going to lay out uh, some path here not all of it but uh, just so the guests can get around through the park and then after that uh, I'm going to start planning out the new coasters all right I've uh, relayed the paths in the park now I'm um, I made some important changes to the path layout that used to be here. Uh, first of all, yeah, I removed uh, a lot of the path that was over here. And in the original design of these uh, uh, dueling coasters here, uh, I believe the station was over here in this valley. Uh, I wanted to uh, keep the coaster stations around here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want the paths to just pass under the coaster here. I wanted to have some space here to work with. So that's why I put the path here more or less on its own uh, little island here. Um, actually, let me just put it like this. Uh, just make it a little bit uh, simpler for me to uh, work with. Uh, I can still uh, change the path layout la later. But yeah, I just like to have some uh, space here to work with. I'm also just going to remove these trees. I'm going to put back the trees uh, later. There we go. Oh yeah. Um, we need to put several coasters in place here, so obviously we'll want to have a dueling, uh, uh, a pair of looping coasters. And I want to have a um, uh, dual more than the original ones, and I want to have a ride that sort of resembles Doppelganger uh, over here. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, I said something about uh, having a mine train, maybe with two lift hills uh, next to each other, something like that. But yeah, um, I think it's time to start working on uh, yeah, the ride that probably most of you are looking forward to seeing me do, which is the pair of uh, looping coasters. Alright, um, here's the new ride layout for Agoraphobia and Claustrophobia. Now, um, the ride uh, is probably a little bit more tame than the original, but um, yeah, I, uh, I, I do kind of like, uh, well, let's say I accomplished my goal of uh, uh, having them dual for a bit more. So instead of only uh, seeing each other uh, on the lift hill through the first loop and at this uh, encounter, they now actually continue uh, through this trench uh, for a while, uh, while staying uh, next to each other. Now I did have some uh, trouble um, with speed um, in, the, in the first layout that I made. So I opted to make the lift hill uh, a little bit steeper and a bit higher, uh, just so I could get some extra speed here in the end. And yet I just tweaked uh, the rides a little by little, uh, just making them higher or lower in sections, just to make them uh, line up more. Uh, at the finish. So yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with how the ride uh, turned out. Also have a little bit of path uh, interaction here, especially over here where the uh, guests pass over the track here with this little bridge. I'm going to tweak this to make it uh, look nicer. 
And also this section, uh, I'm probably going to add a more uh, an extra tunnel here for the right claustrophobia. Um, just to uh, stick with the theme a bit more. Also here, uh, the ending for claustrophobia ends with a tunnel and the ending for agoraphobia is uh, here out in the open behind this uh, station building for the for the train. So yeah, um, the reason I the main reason I did not build anything on this side is because uh, over here I want to build the right doppelganger. So the it, what will be a mine train coaster in our version of the park. So that's uh, that's just the main reason I kept this space open. Now um. The way I did this, we also have uh, space here for a transfer track, which is also nice. And I can make a really nice looking uh, station building for these uh, coasters. And probably also a path leading to them uh, from uh, this side. So yeah, um, the end result is that I have quite some space here just to, uh, to build nice stuff. Now, uh, still a lot of work to do, so uh, I'd best just get started with it. Alright, the area around this coaster is now pretty much completed, so I made this a big station building here. I just tried to give it an uh, interesting shape rather than uh, just being a square box. And uh, actually the entrance for this pair of coasters is over here. Uh, over here they just uh, enter the queue for the ride, which will travel through this tunnel and then finally uh, into this uh, building here. So, yeah, the queue is uh, pretty simple actually, but... Uh, yeah, I quite uh, like this building. It's uh, yeah, I tried to just give it an interesting shape with these chimneys, but also with these uh, mine shafts here uh, on top of the building. Uh, I decorated the area around the coach a little bit. You can see a transfer track over here. Uh, yeah, so this uh, allows these two tracks of the coaster to slide over here, and here we would be able to fit uh, an extra pair of trains. Uh, something which uh, the coaster uh, claustrophobia uh, has, which is really uh, typical for this ride, or really uh, something that stands out, is of course its exit right under a merry-go-round. So that's something that uh, I wanted to keep uh, from the uh, original. So also here at the end the coaster does uh, a double helix. Uh, the original didn't do that, I think, but uh, this one does. And uh, as it passes uh, Oh, under the yeah, as it does its final helix, now passes under the merry-go-round uh, before it reaches the break run here. Now um, I did play a little bit here with the times for the the minimum wait time for the coaster, and by doing that, uh, I allowed the coasters to uh, always uh, sync up uh, with each other nicely. Block breaks can sometimes ruin uh, uh, how well these uh, coasters uh, sync up. But with this timing, uh, it should keep working uh, perfectly fine. So yeah, quite happy with how this turned out. Uh, you can see this uh, trench here, where these coasters uh, duel with each other. That's uh, of course something that the original ride uh, did not have. Um, 
Yeah, I think that that is definitely an improvement over the original. It's quite nice seeing these coasters uh, race each other over here in this uh, trench. I also gave the black coaster um, one extra tunnel here. And that's of course just uh, to uh, bring out the theme of claustrophobia a little bit more. Now, I didn't really know how to decorate these towers here that I built here. So I just put, an, uh, put a display vehicle on top of them. I think that uh, that's a nice way of uh, using these uh, two uh, towers. Okay, um, with that, yeah, this uh, the most important ride of the park is now done. Um, so yeah, start with the railway, then this pair of coasters. And um, right now I want to uh, rebuild the log flume that was over here. Now, um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, landscaping that was done. Um, for the original log flume that uh, that is um, so I'm just going to restore the landscaping a bit more make it a bit more natural again and then I'm going to build a new log flume in this area and one that has a bit more of a realistic uh, layout All right, here's the log flume. So yeah, I'm not really sure if you can still picture the original layout that was here, but uh, for sure uh, I did make this uh, layout quite a bit more realistic, I think. So yeah, um, over here we have the station right under this path. Uh, from there the guests immediately go down a, a short drop. And after that drop they lose some speed uh, into this S-band. Then after that they go into this uh, tunnel section here and over here I made a reverser section. Now I actually did a little track merge here so that uh, um, yeah, there's actually two, two of these reverser sections and that actually makes the cars go in a 90 degree angle. So uh, that's just a way to do these reverser sections uh, in a bit more compact space. After that they do a small climb up and then they drop down once more backwards. Uh, yeah, here's this trick that I really overuse uh, where I make this track go uh, in between these uh, mineshaft buildings. Now here's another re uh, reverser building. After that the guests travel up the final lift hill and then they do a little bit of a section here above the... Uh, yeah, right next to the path. And then uh, over here they drop down and again it's next to the path to give these guests a nice view uh, of the splashdown section. And what I really like is that you can actually see these guests uh, watching the boats uh, go down here. So yeah, I think this is definitely a good uh, interaction moment in the in the park. And yeah, I'm uh, actually mo even more happy with uh, the log flume than uh, than uh, I am with these rides. Although I also think these look uh, pretty cool. But yeah, I uh, definitely think the log flume uh, worked out uh, really well. So yeah, really uh, happy with it uh, so far. Anyway, um, yeah, I did most of the detailing on it uh, as well. So uh, with this done, I think we can uh, move on to a different section of the park.
Alright, here's my rendition of Arachnophobia. Now, um, yeah, the original uh, very steep uh, junior coaster or steel mini coaster as they were called in RST1, I believe, has now been uh, transformed into a Gerslauer bobsled coaster. So yeah, um, these coasters uh, typically have, uh, yeah, they often have like a large uh, curved drop and not all of them. But uh, yeah, this one starts with uh, one of those. After that, here's uh, more or less a wild mouse section uh, with uh, yeah, tight 180 degree turns. Here's a bit of a steep drop, uh, then it uh, curves upwards and then uh, it swoops under the path into this uh, helix here. And then after that, uh, it returns back to the station. Now, um, I would have liked to make this the layout a little bit longer, but uh, these are si this a uh, single car uh, coaster. So uh, yeah, these uh, tend to lose a lot of speed uh, as they uh, travel through the layout. So yeah, probably not gonna get it uh, any uh, longer than this. Well, that's quite high capacity. I would have liked uh, for some more people to uh, go on this coaster. But uh, yeah, the guests in the park seem uh, pretty spread out. So uh, probably uh, in the end, as we get more rides, uh, probably more guests uh, will go on this uh, coaster. But yeah, it, uh, it does seem quite popular, so that's uh, nice. And I'm really happy with the way this ride looks. Also built uh, uh, a kind of uh, a station kind of like in a haunted mansion style. I also put a haunted house uh, right next to it, because I think uh, th those go well. Uh, goes, those go together uh, really well. So yeah, I'm um, really happy. Um, another part of the park finished. So now we have almost all of the original rides uh, back again and uh, including a haunted house and for the uh, yeah the last last major ride of the park that I want to do of course uh, um, we I want to make the coaster doppelganger uh, that I want to do as a mine train coaster in uh, this park so yeah, um, probably best to just get started with that Alright, uh, for some reason this ride doesn't work with block brakes. It just gets stuck on a lift hill. Uh, I don't know what causes it, but for s it uh, does seem to work in continuous circuit mode. So uh, I guess I'll just uh, use that. But yeah, as you can see the coaster has uh, two trains. Maybe I'll uh, increase it to three. I think uh, that should be possible. And each uh, car actually does both of these uh, uh, lift hills before it returns back to the station. Now, um, as you can see, they don't duel perfectly. Sometimes they get sort of close, but uh, yeah, to be fair, I don't really care since we already have a ride here that's uh, synchronized uh, nicely. Um, so yeah, I th this uh, for me is uh, is quite uh, good enough. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, really happy with this layout that I managed to uh, piece together in this uh, space. I think it's uh, it's it looks uh, pretty nice, this ride. And uh, yeah, especially uh, after I uh, finish decorating it, I think it will look uh, really nice. So I'm mostly just going to do some landscaping in between this coaster, just adding lots of trees and probably some more of this uh, mine uh, decoration. I think with that uh, it should look uh, pretty good. Okay, um, I just played a little bit more with the waiting time of the coaster. And with a minimum waiting time of 32 seconds, um, yeah, these trains seem to... Uh, arrive at the lift hill at the same time so it probably does will uh, it will depend a bit on the guest weight but uh, yeah I think this uh, this actually works pretty well you can see it here as this train arrives and up here in the lift hill um, yeah it does sync up pretty well now uh, they w they only really duel nicely on the lift hill and on this first hill and after that they sort of both follow their own path 
Um, over here in this section they will uh, meet up again for a bit. So yeah, um, <laughs> I think this actually does uh, make it uh, even uh, nicer. So yeah, um, this uh, will uh, most likely be the layout and uh, waiting times that I will go for. Of course when guests uh, will enter the right uh, it will probably mess up the timings a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is probably as good as I will get with just uh, continuous circuit mode. Anyway, um, let's continue decorating this ride. Alright, the area around this uh, coaster and doppelganger is now nicely decorated. I did a lot of uh, uh, texturing on the ground. I added lots of trees next to the ride, uh, some mine scenery, some TNT. And uh, of course I also made a nice looking station for the ride. Uh, still quite a simple station, but I think it, uh, um, yeah, it uh, looks uh, nice enough for this coaster. Yeah, um, in the end I'm uh, really happy with it and uh, I think it's definitely better than the uh, dueling wooden wild mouse that was here in the beginning. At least this coach looks a lot more uh, reasonable. Anyway, um, yeah, we now have quite a good amount of coasters in the park, but the number of guests in the park is still quite low. And most likely um, that's because the guests are uh, hungry, uh, thirsty, or they have to go to the toilet, because I haven't really provided any... Uh, uh, of that in the park. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few uh, shops and stalls to the park. Uh, just going to uh, spread out a few of them throughout the park. Probably uh, three uh, food and drink stalls uh, should be enough. Um, some toilets here and there. Uh, yeah, that will uh, definitely uh, help the guests uh, decide to stay in the park a little bit longer. Alright, I've now added uh, several shops and stalls throughout the park. Here you can see a pair of food trucks. Also hit a toilet here in the form of a tree. <laughs> Something which I like to do in all of my uh, parks. It's called a tree of life. And according to some of my uh, viewers, uh, it actually would not be able to survive with all the ammonia from uh, all the people peeing on it. Uh, over here we have another uh, uh, yeah, pair of uh, food and drink stalls. This, this one sells Asian food, also some toilets next to it. And over here in the corner of the map we have this uh, nuggets stall, selling gold nuggets. Well, probably chicken nuggets, but uh, I thought uh, gold nuggets would uh, fit the theme. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, with the guest needs uh, satisfied, uh, I will now just do some detailing throughout the park. I will do this off camera um, as it will all be tiny changes all throughout the park and it probably wouldn't uh, look very nice in a time lapse. Alright, uh, I went all throughout the park and added some details here and there, mostly in the form of uh, foliage, 
but uh, I also decided to add the spiral slide back in that was here in the beginning of the park. So here's a short stuff slide. And yeah, I just basically added lots of little plants everywhere. Um, here for this uh, railway section, just added some of these uh, cottages here, some uh, some barrels along the route, just to, to make it look a little bit uh, nicer. Now, of course, I could keep playing on and on this park, um, add more rides over here, but um, we're already in year 10 and there's still lots of scenarios to go. So I think it, uh, it's about time we wrap it up. So yeah, um, something which of course uh, we need to do in this park is add the patrons who uh, always uh, support me. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, all the patrons that support me uh, will get their own little spot in this park. And then after I'm done with uh, placing the patrons in the park, we will take a tour through the park. And finally, in the end, we'll take a ride on all the coasters. Anyway, time to add all of my patrons to the park. Alright, all uh, my patrons now have a spot in the park. So we have several handymen, uh, a few mechanics, some security guards, and most of my patrons have been included in the park as an entertainer. So yeah, um, um, this park will be available for download from my Discord server. The link is in the video description and it's completely free. So uh, be sure to uh, check out this park for yourself. You will need the latest version of OpenRC2 in order to be able to uh, open this park. Anyway, uh, with all my patrons placed in the park, I think it's time to do a quick tour through the park. So um, here we have the entrance of the park um, and with the little rail over the entrance with the minecart uh, traveling on it. Uh, it's a little castle style building here. Uh, uh, where the guest tickets also get uh, checked by these uh, entertainers in a guest suit. Uh, over here we have the log flume to replace the original uh, Snake River Falls. Uh, I think this layout is much nicer than the original. Also tried to uh, make it more realistic. I think I uh, succeeded in that. Uh, yeah, just really happy with the layout of the, of the ride. Now I also made the train ride a little bit nicer. Now I tried to keep it all at the same uh, height level. So instead of it looking like a roller coaster in the map, uh, it now all stays at the same level. So uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a bit more realistic for a train ride. Uh, just like the original, it also has uh, three uh, stations. I tried to make them all look uh, different. I think uh, in the end, uh, the, all the stations look uh, pr pretty nice. Uh, now, of course, here's the right Arachnophobia, and instead of it being an insane uh, junior coaster, I turned it into a uh, coaster that looks like a Gerstlauer bobsled. So, first a big curve drop, then there's some uh, hairpin uh, turns, which are taken at a fairly slow speed. Um, then over here there's a helix uh, before it returns back to the station. Now, sadly these trains lose quite a bit of speed during the layout. So I couldn't really make it uh, much longer if I stayed at this height. But yeah, um, I think the layout in the end uh, does look uh, quite nice. And I'm really happy with the station for the ride as well. Now, over here, um, here we have the station for the two main coasters of the park. So here's claustrophobia and agoraphobia. Now the original ones, they uh, only do uh, at the station, lift hill, the first loops, and then they would travel through the loops and then they would both go their own ways. And I changed it such that they actually keep dueling for a much longer uh, part of the ride. So um, it does of course keep some elements from the original one and in some ways it's uh, very different. 
for example, I may choose to do a steep lift hill. Uh, yeah, in the end, uh, I'm uh, quite happy with uh, how it uh, turned out. Of course, I did try to keep some iconic elements like this uh, final uh, uh, yeah, tunnel under the merry uh, go round. And uh, finally, here's uh, here used to be a ride called Doppelganger. I probably should have a handyman just uh, yeah take care of this area because it is getting a little bit messy here. There we go. But yeah, yeah, here used to be a uh, wooden wild mouse called Doppelganger, and I actually uh, um, demolished that and put a, a mine train coaster here, which actually has two lift hills and. Yeah, depending on how many guests uh, actually enter, uh, sometimes it uh, duels quite nicely, uh, but usually it uh, it doesn't. But still, um, I'm uh, also really happy with this uh, layout. I think it uh, worked out uh, quite well in the end. So yeah, t uh, d two lift hills and trains will uh, travel uh, this entire track before they uh, return back to the station. Decorate the, s the queue line a bit as well. Um, yeah, and in the end, I'm just uh, really happy with how it all uh, turned out. Alright, that was my playthrough of Diamond Heights. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me build. It was really fun to uh, uh, build this park and to see it uh, come together like this. Uh, big thanks to all my patrons, to all my uh, supporters on YouTube. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my uh, channel and would mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, I just uh, really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. <laughs>